So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We've just retrieved the pot. Um, trying to get my bag wet. So this is uh, this is the pot. Now I've got some little ones that just have crept inside. So but they. Oh shit! Bloody tides coming in. Or um, sorry, the tide sort of try is actually going out, but every now and again you get a bit of swell, and um, so I didn't want to get my bag all shitted up. Uh, what we're gonna do? This is a pain in the ass. This is a real pain in the ass. What we're gonna do? We're just asking to get wet. That's what it's gonna have to do. Sometimes it's just gotta get wet. There's no choice. You like things all prim and proper. Well, I do anyway. But every once in a while, you just have to accept accept things for what they are. These some of these are quite small actually, which is one or two of them are reasonable. Oh, you just bit me. A little sod. Ever so, ever so sharp claws. These ones really are. The paddle cramps look and see the little swimmers they got at the back look these aren't huge but they're um these would be perfect uh moki baits you've got to be careful when you're poking around inside your bait that there's not one in there ready waiting to pounce ever so sharp claws these ones here and draw blood pierce your skin a lot different from European crabs. Euro European crabs are a softer shit compared to these ones. These are absolute brutes. And these are little baby ones, these are. But, um, oh, he's lost a claw, this one. No, he still bite me. There's only claw, remaining claw. Yeah, a lot smaller, a lot smaller, but brilliant moki baits, absolutely brilliant. So what we're gonna do, I'll put the lid down on there for a minute, I'll come back to them. So I've managed to, I've been struggling, trying to find a spot as the tide was receding and I just managed to, you know, after exhausting myself, I found a spot and it holds a few little ones, which is fair enough because those those because I can always if I get some bigger ones I can always release those ones you see so we'll just you know just hang on to it just hang on to it just hang on to it just just in here just in here so all I'm going to do what I'm going to do I'll just spin it out spin it out Grab the grab your grab your rope. And I just figure of eight. Found this bit of twig on the, on the beach. Just figure of eight, so it can't slide out. And that's all you do. You just leave it there. There it is. Right, so we're a little bit in a different place to where we were. We're more sort of just down here. But that's all right. But that's all right. So right, they're there anyway. Yeah, hey, look at these goals. Look, look at him. Look, he's been following. They've been following me around ever since I've been down here. I've been down here a few hours. The size of them. Look, there's a lot of shellfish at low tide here. And you can just tell by looking at them goals how stocky they are and how fit looking they are. They've just been gorging all their lives on rich shellfish, which is all in the sand. These things here, things they call these, they call these tortors. These are the things here. They crack them open with their big beaks, and they um, they. Eat them. So here we are. Here's the here's the little paddle crabs. Look, they're for me. They're a bit small. I don't really like to keep small crabs. However. We'll hang on to them and to see how we go. Now, they do die quite quickly, these sort of crabs, out of water. 
they do they do die quite quickly. So you just want to try and just keep them as fresh as you can with a little bit of sand, a little bit of seawater. I'm planning on um, I'll put them in my car. I'll put them in my car, just leave that there for now, that's all right. I'll put them in my car and then I'll um, I'll freshen them up when I get to the beach where I'm going to be fishing. First thing I'll do is just go down to the water's edge, get a load of fresh sea water in them, revive them. It's important you keep them alive because that's, that's when they're in the best condition. Okay, all right, I'll see you later.